Hi everyone, it's Sally here and today we're going to recreate this look that you see on me. It is a cool tone smoky eye using the Shade and Light Eye Palette by Kat Von D. I don't know if you remember but last time I did a warm tone smoky eye and as I promised I wanted to do um, two looks, a warm smoky eye and a cool tone smoky eye. So here it is, the cool tone smoky eye. So if you like what you see then keep on watching. So if you want to see the warm tone smoky eye, just click the previous video and you will have the tutorial on that. And if you like what you see, don't forget to put a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Hi, so we're going to start with this tutorial with my eye already primed. And as I told you the last time, today I'm going to do a cool tone smoky eye using... Uh, this quad right here, which is the Cool Tone Quad by um, Kat Von D. The palette is the Shade and Light Eye Palette. So let's begin. So I already applied the white color all over the lid and then I'm going to apply this color right here, which is the lightest brown, into the crease as my transition color. And as always, I'm going to start to define the crease and to create the shape that I want. So for me, I usually tend to go over my natural crease just because I have put it high and I want my lid to be a little bit bigger than what I have. So to create the illusion of a bigger eye. So we're going in with a fluffy brush just because we don't have to be um, precise but we have to create the, um, the base into the crease to blend the darkest color later on. So I'm really happy you guys because um, this morning I went to Sephora and when I entered I saw the, a box from Urban Decay and I was like this cannot be the Urban Decay heat palette here in Italy now but it was. I'm so happy. Of course I bought it so I'm going to do a first impression review on this but I'm so happy you guys I swatched the colors and they are beautiful I already love it and I know that there are millions of reviews on the palette but you know I want to show you what I think and how it works for me and on my skin tone because maybe there are um, girls out there that are fair like me and wanted to see um, how it works on their skin. So once I blend for two hours um, we're going to put this color right here which is the dark brown on the outer crease creating a really um, cat eye shape and I'm using a little brush more dense than the other and I'm start to pack the color in the outer corner the outer part and then I blend with the other brush. So I keep adding a little bit of product at a time with the little brush and then blending it out with the fluffier brush. brush. <laughs> and if you need you can go back with the lighter brown to um, you know help the blending process and keep on blending. 
so it won't be me if there is no kind of a funny funny things that I do I forgot to put tape not that I don't do um, you know smoky eye without tape but as I use it for the other eye I have to use it on this eye so I apply it and now I'm touching up the color so I started with the lighter brown and now I am putting on the dark brown and blending it out oh my god I'm so messy every time so how are you guys all doing how is your summer did you go on vacation did you spend good holiday? You're still on holiday or you're not on holiday? I'm on holiday this week, but I'm going to go back to work next week and my official holidays will start on the 28th, which is also my birthday. So, as I'm talking, you guys, I'm just adding the dark brown and then blending it out, adding the lighter brown if I need. Just because I, you know, I'm building up the, the eye to reach the intensity that I want. You can go lighter or darker to create the smokiness that you want. So, so far, I think I am almost done. A little bit of dark in the outer corner, just because I need to match the other eye. But we are almost done, and then we can go on and do the upcut grease. Now I'm adding a little bit of the white. To highlight the brow bone and help the blending. So now we are going to cut the crease and for this I'm using my trusty Naked Skin Concealer and this brush. This is actually not a makeup brush, I don't know, um, it was a gift from my sister so I don't know I, I don't know the name there is nothing on it so and the there is something written but it's I don't know I can't read it so anyway we're going to cut the crease and as usual we're going to use the trick of putting some and then looking up to have the guide for our cut crease and for me it will be of course over my natural crease so I create oh my god so I create the illusion of a bigger eye so my camera did not record but um, I started to put um, Becca pearl on the lid and I didn't wet the brush just because this highlighter is so pigmented by itself that it don't need to have the brush wet so but I think I'm going to add a little bit with my finger later on but we will see as you can see the payoff of this is stunning I love Becca highlighters they are great my favorite one is Champagne Pop that they did with Jacqueline it's phenomenal so once the highlighter is on we're going to blend the brown with the color that we just put just so we don't have 
you know, a straight line on the eye. And we're going to blend to melt the two colors together the best that we can, at least. So I'm going to use a mix of the um, dark brown and the lighter one. And I blend and blend. So once we are okay with the blending, we can remove the tape and start with the concealer. As you see, I used my Naked Skin Concealer, I mean Fair Neutral, and we start to blend. Even because it's all over my wig. So I went on and blend my concealer and set my face with my NYX Stay Matte But Not Flat um, powder foundation and now we can start with um, the face. So for contouring today I'm going to use my dirty Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit and I'm mixing the three bottom shade to create my own shade and we start defining our face. So for highlight, we're going to stick with um, a pearl from Becca Cosmetics that we use on the lid, if I can find it, of course, and we're going to apply it on the usual spots. So for highlight, we are going to stick with pearl from Becca, and we're going to apply with this giant brush on our cheekbones. Look how beautiful it is. It's blinding. On the nose. And then on the cupid's bow. So if you think you've put too much, just go in with your beauty blender to fix everything. And then we're going to do blush. So for blush, we're going to use this NYX Sweet Cheeks palette and I'm going to put this pink with a touch of this coral one. And we apply it on our cheeks, but um, I don't want too much color. I just want a wash of pink on my cheeks. So we're going to apply just a bit of it. So I'm going to go in with my beauty blender to melt the products together, the highlight, the blush, So once we are happy with the result, we can go back to the eyes and do the bottom lashes. We're going to use the lighter brown and the darker brown. So we we'll start with the lighter brown, which was this big right here. And we we'll start applying it on the... Um, bottom lashes connecting with the upper part where we have, you know, a kind of guideline that we create with the tape. We apply it on the other eye too.
and then we go in with the darker brown and we intensify the outer corner. We're going to apply a little bit of pearl on the inner corner just to make it pop even more. So now I'm going to apply my mascara and lashes and I'll be right back. I'm back. So for lips today I chose to pair this look with this velour liquid lipstick in the shade Sagittarius. So we're going to apply it. This color is phenomenal. And the applicator of Jeffrey's lipstick is prime. It's gorgeous and it's one of my favorite because you see it's kind of angled. It's little and angled and um, it's perfect to apply um, lipstick for me. So this is a look complete with the lipstick and I quite like how it came out so if you like it too please leave me a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and see you in my next video. Bye! Look at those baby ears. They're terrible.